Happy to be a part of this August gathering where brilliant minds have joined together with a common passion for revolutionizing life sciences and healthcare. BioConnect 2.0 is indeed an event that underscores Kerala's commitment to fostering innovation in life sciences and healthcare. As we stand on the cusp of groundbreaking advancements in science and technology, Kerala is determined and committed to be at the forefront of healthcare research and development. The government of Kerala is dedicated to building a comprehensive model that seamlessly integrates life sciences expertise with cutting edge healthcare solutions. We firmly believe that research and innovation in life sciences are pivotal in addressing the health challenges of the future. Our ultimate goal is to establish Kerala as a global hub for life sciences, where innovations transcend borders and deliver tangible benefits to humanity. One of the critical health challenges our state has recently faced is primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, which is globally acknowledged as a rare disease. The mortality globally is 99%. Uh, Kerala has reported 19 cases this year. Yet, our healthcare systems unwavering commitment to early detection and aggressive treatment has resulted in several lives being saved. And I would like to mention that out of these 19 uh, patients, we could help survive 14 patients. That is, the mortality has been reduced to 26%. And again, last year in the Nipah outbreak, which has happened in Kodikod, as we all know, the mortality is above 70%, which comes under 70 to 90%. And last year, we could reduce the mortality again to 33%. This underscores the strength and resilience of Kerala's healthcare infrastructure. We have successfully handled other vital outbreaks like Nipah and Mpox, demonstrating our expertise in public health and disease control. Recently, Mpox case was reported in Kerala. We did the genomic sequencing of uh, the virus and uh, we found that it belongs to clade 1B. Of course, that is uh, something uh, an issue which uh, has got some global public health relevance because so far outside the African countries, only in two countries clade 1B was detected. One was in Sweden and the second was in Thailand. And we were wondering why this, this virus or this is uh, clade 1B. And uh, Honorable Minister Sri P. Rajiv has mentioned about Institute of Advanced Virology. Honorable Chief Minister too mentioned about the institute. We are very proud about the institution because we can identify about 80 viruses in this institution. And also, as we all know, there is a 99% similarity between clade 2B and clade 1B. And we officially uh, cert we got the certification from NIV that this is clade 1B. As a state recognized for its ease of doing business, again, I would like to congratulate Kerala government's industrial department, honorable minister and the team for winning the first place in the country for ease of doing business. For this ease of doing business, we now seek increased investment in Kerala, particularly in the life sciences sector. To address the challenge, Kerala is investing in research under the One Health platform, which integrates human and animal and environmental health. We believe that human health cannot stand its own. It's related to animal health and it is related to the environment because this is an era of zoonotic diseases, new novel viruses. We are collaborating with institutions like the Indian Council of Medical Research and the Indian Institute of Science to develop a comprehensive action plan that will scale up diagnostics and enhance our understanding. 
in under the transformative initiative kerala has established an advisory committee for the effective implementation of organ transplantation in the state this is a significant milestone that will elevate our healthcare services and offer life saving support to those in need moreover kerala's rich legacy in healthcare coupled with our state of art infrastructure position us as a leader in biotech and healthcare innovation this is further reinforced by the upcoming vaccination production unit at the kerala life sciences industries park which will not only cater to kerala's needs but also to contribute to national and global vaccination efforts and we are on the roads of uh, producing monoclonal antibody we have a monoclonal antibody from australia and that too in 2023 outbreak even in 2018 we got the monoclonal antibody from australia and 2023 also through icmr we could uh, procure monoclonal antibody from australia but we have to develop monoclonal antibody on indigenous nipa virus and i hope that this year 24 25 maybe uh, by the end of 2025 december our country will be able to produce monoclonal antibody as we move forward i want to reiterate that government of kerala is not just a facilitator but a true partner in advancing life sciences and healthcare innovations uh we envisage the resale in healthcare model driven by research collaboration and the incredible as mentioned by honorable minister by the incredible biodiversity that kerala offers the kerala life sciences industry spark is central to this vision providing the necessary infrastructure talent and support for scientific innovations to thrive let's seize this opportunity to build a future where kerala leads the way in life sciences creating solutions that benefit both our state and the world thank you very much